Good morning, it's 825. Thanks for watching. I'm Brittany Dobbins. An Illinois judge removes former President Donald Trump from the state's primary ballot. Your local election headquarters tracks the 2024 campaign. Judge Tracy Porter of Cook County ruled Trump was ineligible based on the 14th Amendment's insurrection clause. This makes Illinois the third state to kick the former president off the ballot. The decision is on hold until Friday to let Trump's legal team appeal. A Davenport man faces felony charges after police say he stole thousands of items from storage units. Police arrested 25-year-old Tyler Herman on felony theft as well as weapons and drug charges. Officers were called to QC Storage on 76th Street Tuesday about a burglary to some of the units. Police identified Herman as a suspect after looking at surveillance footage. Officers say they searched his home and found items taken from the units, lockpicking tools, methamphetamine, and a gun. Herman was released on his own recognizance. The prosecution rests its case in the murder trial for the man accused of killing a Knox County deputy. Two state police officers experiencing crime scene investigations testified yesterday. Dalen Richardson is accused of killing Deputy Nicholas Wiest with his car almost two years ago. Both witnesses spent years retracing collisions in these types of cases. They also described the photo process and how items are collected from a scene. Closing arguments could begin as early as today, depending on what case the defense presents. A veterinarian was among the witnesses who testified yesterday in the trial of a dog breeder accused of animal cruelty. Prosecutors say Karen Plambeck mistreated almost 200 dogs found in poor conditions around two years ago. She pleaded not guilty to the charges. Prosecutors presented exam sheets and pictures of puppies taken to a vet after the search. Plambeck is charged with 12 counts of animal cruelty with no prior felonies. Their class four felonies and carry sentences of one to three years in prison if convicted. And cleanup is underway after a tornado touched down Tuesday night in Lee County, Illinois. Someone posted this video on the social media platform X. It's taken from a car in the middle of a thunderstorm in Amboy. There's lightning and rain pouring down on the car. It's almost dark, but you can see what looks like a funnel cloud in the distance. And that's a look at your local news. Now here's Brian with your local pinpoint forecast. Thank you, Brittany. Good morning to you and happy Thursday, everyone. And the uh, tornado in Anawan, by the way, that was an EF1 with winds of 110 miles an hour. But quieter weather for today, good deal of sunshine, no severe weather to worry about. Mix of 20s to around 30 right now. We're working our way out of the mostly teens and low 20s for our low temperatures earlier this morning. And wind chill values, not bad, teens to low 20s. So we're improving things. The wind is fairly light now, but it will kick up a bit more as we head through the afternoon. Good deal of sunshine coming up for today. A mostly sunny sky. Afternoon temperatures top out around 50. And normal high this time of year is 42. So uh, right back above normal for this afternoon. You see a few more clouds down to the south later this afternoon. And we'll see more cloud covers spread across the area tonight. It could be a stray shower to the south. I think most of us are going to be dry. 31 to start the day on uh, Friday, and by Friday afternoon, we'll get back to some sunshine. We'll have some clouds through the mid-morning hours. For today, looking at a lot of sun. Upper 40s to low 50s for most of us. South winds will kick up a bit more, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Low 50s tomorrow, some clouds especially through the first half of the day. Mid-60s Saturday, mid-70s on Sunday. That would tie a record high, a windy, warm Sunday. Chance for showers and storms on Monday. Cold front comes in. We cool back down to the mid to upper 50s behind the front. Brittany, back to you. All righty. Thanks, Brian, and thanks for watching. For new anytime, anywhere, just go to ourquadcities.com.